Yo, listen, bro. And listen to me very closely. You will never, ever, ever in your life receive hate from somebody who is doing more or working harder than you. You will never, ever, ever have that happen. And you know why? It's because people who are actually about their business and on their own shit don't have the time to scroll through <laughs> the internet for hours just trolling people. No real man has time for that. That's why you should never pay attention to a hater, whether it's in real life or whether it's on the fucking internet, especially not the internet, but even in real life. You got to realize, bro, that most people are miserable. And the reason why they're miserable is because they have no ambition. You know what I'm saying? They don't have a reason for waking up. They don't actively try to change their life. So they're not seeing results. You know what I'm saying? There's not a lot of good that's in their life. You know what I'm saying? Whether that's because of their own fault or whether because of that's just life happening to them. But either way, you still have to take responsibility for your own life, regardless. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, <laughs> constructive criticism is a different story. You know what I'm saying? Somebody telling you that you're a piece of shit and directly attacking your character that's not constructive criticism. That's just somebody shitting on you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Somebody saying sly remarks, like such as, oh, are you still working on that little business you got going? That little business. I'm sure we've all heard that one. That little YouTube channel. They always like, it's always the old heads that like to say the lil, you know what I'm saying? When their lil old broke ass is still at the same job that they've been at for 15 fucking years but then they're calling my YouTube channel Lil. But then I have a nicer car than you and I'm half your age <laughs> and it's paid off cash. <laughs> yeah, all right, anyways. <laughs> it's just funny to me, bro. It's just so funny to me. You know why this is such a huge video for me is because my whole entire life, I paid attention to so much bullshit and it's like, bro, like you just don't, like none of this shit matters. Like it's like, when you really think about it, why are you giving that other person any fucking power over you to like any degree? You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you even thinking about this fucking person? Like they really don't fucking matter. You know what I'm saying? Like think about how much energy it takes for you to go out of your way to try to make somebody else's day bad. And think about how sad it is to be that individual. You know what I'm saying? Like you got nothing else better to do with your life than to try to shit on me for trying to make my life better and to better other people's lives. So instead of you doing something constructive on the internet, you're gonna come onto my YouTube channel, you're gonna dislike the video, and then you're gonna say some stupid shit on, in my comments. How does that make any sense? You're a loser, you have no fucking life. You're my son. <laughs> Actually, no, my son's not a loser. <laughs> I don't have any kids, but you get what I'm saying, bro. You're a bitch. People like that are bitch made, bro. They have no fucking lives. So they use their lives to try to shit on other people who actually do have lives. That's all a hater is. A hater is just somebody who's mad that they can't do what you can do. They don't have the confidence to put themselves out there. They don't have, you know what I'm saying, the integrity to stand up for themselves. So they're just gonna lie and try to cover it up instead of sticking their chest out and being a man about every single action that they've taken. <laughs> Haters are cowards. Because I know that 90% of you who have commented stupid shit on my YouTube channel wouldn't say any of that shit to my face. And if you did, I would guarantee that I'd beat the shit out of you. I guarantee I would. I guarantee I would. Guaranteed. I would drop you. <laughs> Guaranteed. All that being said, I just think it's funny because it's like the internet has just proven and I'm not really proven so much. I really say just almost exploded the weaknesses of humans. You know what I'm saying? It's exploded. It's made it even bigger. It's brought it to a way larger scale. Because now you have people who thinking that they can just say whatever the hell they want to people 
on the fucking internet. And then some of them even carry that to real life. And then that's when you get these viral videos of people getting knocked out and, you know, body slammed on cement on their head, stuff like that. There's pros and cons to everything. That's the point I'm trying to make. But at the end of the day, bro, a hater is a loser. A hater is beneath you. Remember that. Anybody who is hating on you, it doesn't mean it, it doesn't matter, excuse me, if the if you if even you think that the hater is quote unquote above you. Cause that's what I had to realize. You know what's the craziest shit? Is I remember when I used to play sports like back in college and then like also like back in high school. I remember like I used to always look up to like the team captains and stuff like that, or just like the people who like, you know what I'm saying, got more playing time than me or whatever the case may be. And it's so crazy because number one, as you get older, you realize everybody is human. Like, you know what I'm saying? Anything that this motherfucker can do, I can do 10 times fucking better. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, like, them being in a higher position than you in that capacity, like whatever it is, school or your job or whatever, doesn't mean that that person is better than you. You know what I mean? There's so many factors that like play into life. You can't just say that this person is better than that. You know what I'm saying? I had to realize these things because when those people would hate on me, I'd be like, damn, I can't even say any shit back. Like, no, who the fuck? Is you're a spoiled ass fucking rich kid. And you think you're better than me because you have a higher score on the ACT. You should do better. <laughs> I grew up in the... <laughs> I'm not even gonna go on a whole rant. I was I was literally about to go on a rant, but it was like, I, I could feel it coming and I was about to stop. I'm just gonna stop myself. But you get what I'm saying though? It's like, I don't have anything to prove to you, my guy. Like, that's, you had a better life than me? Congratulations. You should be doing better than me. You had it easier. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I have nothing to prove to you, bro. I have nothing, like, haters will never work harder than you because somebody who is working hard and who is a diligent man who is on his own path is not going to waste his time shitting on others and if he does he's not a real man he's a bitch bitches talk 24 7 <laughs> that's all they fucking do it's just crazy bro i paid attention to so much nonsense I used to literally like think about shit for years that my coaches said to me in the past. You know what I'm saying? That my dad said to me, just all sorts of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I put these people on a pedestal because there was a time in my life where I actually valued their opinions about me and stuff like that. But bro, fuck them. There is nobody above you, bro. Like stop thinking that there's people above you in society. There is nobody fucking above you my guy nobody literally nobody <laughs> like i'm never gonna look at somebody and be like oh damn he's whoa no bro i'm never doing that shit because if i elbow that same dude in the face he's gonna bleed so why the fuck would i do that <laughs> i got nothing to be afraid of bro you know what i'm saying that's the mentality that's the fucking mentality bro no hater can stop you because haters have no power. <laughs> they don't even have the power to change their own lives. <laughs> so what makes you think that they have any power to stop you from changing yours? Fuck them. And let your success be the dick in their mouth. Yeah. Because it will be. You know what I'm saying? Funny story. I've been on a fitness journey for my whole entire life, really. It's just... You know, due to like the circumstances I grew up in, it was kind of like hard to maintain muscle and stuff like that because I grew up in poverty and whatnot. So like, I don't know, I've had a lot of like awkward changes like with my body and stuff like that in terms of fluctuation of weight and muscle mass and all that stuff, right? But 2019 coming forward is when I really started to like buckle down and like learn everything and like really start to understand fitness as a whole, right? And it's so funny because there is this dude who I went to high school with who was a year older than me, who was in my oceanography class. Forgot this dude's name, but if he's watching the video, he probably knows. Long story short, this dude used to act like he was my homie 
all the time, like when we was in high school and shit. And then when we got to college, he would try to act all cool and everything like that. Like he wasn't really fucking with me and whatever the case may be. And then when we'd be around other people, he would try to shit on me type shit. Long story short, before I had a whip, I Ubered home every single day. You know what I mean? If I was too tired to fucking walk or whatever for like the three or four miles I had to walk just to get back to the crib, I was Ubering home. Guess whose mom was the Uber driver? Also, guess whose mom lived in my apartment complex? Also, guess whose mom invited me over for dinner? <laughs> Right? I don't have to act all sweet on the internet, bro. I don't have to call this dude out of his name. I don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Take a bunch of pictures uh, and show all the evidence. Like, I'm straight, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, bro. Karma is a bitch. I'm telling you. <laughs> Niggas think that they can get away with shit, but I'm I'm telling you, bro, you gonna get your shot, bro. Trust me, you will get your shot. That's why you never have to trip off of a hater or never day, another day in your life. You never have to trip off of another hater another day in your life ever again. Number one, a hater is always beneath you. Number two, haters are never working harder than you. So why would you listen to somebody who doesn't have the same expertise as you in terms of your mindset and where it's going? And number three, haters are just pussies. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>